Freedom Team here. Today, we are talking about the seller's estimated costs in a real estate transaction. So first, you have some standard costs that are typical to all, and you have the state transfer fee, the deed transfer fee, and those title company fees. Um, again, they're standard of that transaction. Um, then you're going to have an agreed upon portion of taxes. Um, typically, it's prorated through the day of closing. Some people choose to escrow their, their taxes monthly, some paid at the end of the year, but the way that'll, that'll make sure all of those are paid up um, through the day of closing. Then you have whatever your agreed upon realtor commission is, it's typically between six and 8% in Wisconsin. Um, potential costs that vary, however, to a property are any liens or unpaid utilities, um, you might have some special services like a pre-inspection or home warranty plan, um, it was special surveys, or you could have well septic water tests. Again, they're totally dependent on the property. You may incur none of those or a few of those. Um, in a previous video, I discussed a comparative market analysis. That's a free service by your realtor, um, but that gives you an idea of the market value. But then we also pair it with showing you the potential cost based on your property. So it'll give you an idea where you net out. So it's another plug for a good reason to um, use that option of uh, exercising to get your comparative market analysis done. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.